Hey, what's up? This is Keith. I'm coming at you with a little species information video. I'm going to be talking about my flag cichlid today. Uh, flag cichlid is a member of the Acara family. It's a dwarf Acara that kind of max, maxes out at about three inches. Um, you know, they they do have a nice kind of wispy tail coming off of their uh, dorsal, which is more prevalent in the males. You can see it, there it is right there, kind of tailing off the back of his dorsal fin. It actually sticks out almost all the way to his tail. Um, have a, a real deep-bodied cichlid. It's a little bit more of a rounded head on them. Um, he's active right now because I just threw some food in here. Uh, they definitely prefer a heavily planted tank with lots of hiding pl places for them. Um, the, basically, the more planted your tank is, the more you're going to see them because they're going to feel more comfortable. Other things that you can do to kind of stimulate them to come out more is provide what's called dither fish, which is small schooling fish, all your tetras, uh, danios, rasburas, uh, just basically a small schooling fish because they're active swimming around. They make the cichlid feel a little bit more safe and, and more prone to come out. Um, this guy's got some pretty good markings on him. He's coloring up a little bit. Um, you can see his uh, dorsal is kind of fringed with a little bit of reddish orange on the top, and he's got some kind of iridescent blues and greens in his in his scales. Um, they're not really an aggressive fish, a very mild mannered cichlid. Um, they do have all of the you know showmanship and personality of a larger cichlid, but they're just a lot less destructive on your tank. I've kept these in a 10 gallon tank before, but preferably you probably want something a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can find out where you where you go. Um, you know, when you have a really planted tank though, they do disappear on you. Especially when you're trying to make a fish tank video. But uh, cool fish, if you're thinking about keeping a dwarf cichlid and you don't really want to do a ram or an epistogramma or anything that's kind of been done a lot. Try a flag cichlid. They're real easy to care for. Um, real, there he is. Real moderate, um, you know, climate. They have a wide range of, of pHs they can handle, and uh, you know, just basically anything in your your general freshwater fish range, they'll be okay in. You know, neutral pH is probably best maybe even a little acidic. It's a South American cichlid. It comes from the uh, northwest part of South America. Um, yeah, real cool fish. If you're interested in trying one and you want a little more information on it, you can give me a holler. Uh, you can leave your comments in the in the section below and uh, make sure and uh, you know give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to do some different series um, you know, talk about different species and stuff like that. But I thought I'd start with the flag cichlid. Um, he is definitely the the centerpiece of my tank as far as the animals are concerned. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, just feel free to hit me up. Thanks for watching.